Welcome to the Video Dictionary. My name is Benjamin Lewis, and today we're going to look at what happens when you cross a leopard with a camel. Giraffe. Noun. A large, long-necked mammal with a spotted coat similar to that of a leopard. History and etymology. As you've probably noticed, there aren't many giraffes in England and Northern Europe. This means there wasn't really a word for this animal in the English language. And anytime someone needed to refer to a giraffe, they would have to borrow a word from another language. The modern word we use for giraffe today was borrowed from French in the 1600s, who had in turn borrowed it from an Arabic language in the 13th century, who probably got it, ultimately, from a native African language. Now, because this animal is so seldom seen where English was spoken, but was very fascinating to everyone around the world, it was mentioned from time to time in texts about the natural world. And each time it was mentioned, it seemed to have a different name. Many writers seemed to have had a different spin on the name, or it was borrowed from different languages. Some examples of these words would be Zirof, Jarof, Jerfonts. This last one was probably due to some confusion on the part of the author with the word olifant, where we get the modern word elephant. But the main word used in English before the adoption of the modern word giraffe was camillopard. Camillopard comes from ancient Greek. One of the sources I looked at while researching this word described how the ancient Greeks believed that giraffe was an unnatural crossbreed between a camel and a leopard. And it's a portmanteau of these Greek words, chameleos for camel and pardalis for leopard. Camillopard probably came into the English language not directly as a reference to the animal, but originally referring to the constellation Camilla Pardalis. This constellation can be seen between Ursa Major and Cassiopeia, just on the other side of the North Star from Ursa Minor. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the word giraffe, please subscribe to the channel for more in the future. If you're interested in more information about this word, you can click on the link to the blog post below for links to sources and other materials. And if you'd like to support the Video Dictionary Project, please visit the support link in the description below. And until next time, keep on learning.